guys, welcome back to another cleaning video. Today we're gonna be doing a ton of spring cleaning, so if you need motivation to get started with your spring cleaning, this is the video for you. My name's Katie Satilli, if you're new here. I post videos on cleaning, organization, decluttering, and motherhood. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you stick around, hit that red subscribe button, and hit the little bell notification so that you can be alerted anytime I upload new videos. I know I've talked about it before here on my channel, but I just wanted to share again that I used to be an RA at my college and we used to do room checks every year at the end of the year when people were checking out of their dorm rooms. So we were in charge of making sure everything was spotless clean. So this is one of the methods that I always recommended, which is just to get a rag and put a pencil or a pen on it so that you can get into those tiny little nooks and crannies and crevices. Now I'm going to be heading in to the fireplace and just kind of wiping it down. I actually did a deep clean recently on the fireplace in one of my videos. Not sure if you guys remember it, but I vacuumed and did all kinds of stuff trying to get rid of like the cobwebs and what have you. So I was just going in and spraying it down one more time. It had been some time since I had cleaned it, so it needed another good wipe down. So now I'm heading back in to clean the window. I forgot to do this after I cleaned the tracks, but once I looked over, I was like, oh my gosh, my window is so dirty. So I grabbed my Windex and just wiped it down real quick. As most of you know, I love my Dollar Tree cleaning products or really anything from the Dollar Tree. And I was using a Dollar Tree cl cleaning product in this shot and that's what I'm gonna be using basically to clean my whole downstairs blinds. So I figured I would just wipe them all down with a dry cloth. And this is just like one of those fluffy dry cloths that you put onto the little stick. But I didn't have the stick so I just used it with holding it in my hand.
So we rent our condo for those of you who don't know. And so this is one of the things that drives me totally nuts that I will not replace because I don't own the house, but I cannot get our blinds to go up without doing it like a million times. And even then I couldn't get it to go up. So anyways, I just held it and was wiping down the windowsill and some of the tracks. I didn't go deep cleaning on the tracks for the windows just because I just didn't but I did give them like a good little wipe down and got like any cobwebs or dust out of it. Now to be honest, I wasn't sure if I should leave this portion of the video in, but I figured I do try to keep it real over here on my channel. So my son was having a little bit of a meltdown, which happens sometimes. We do deal with discipline issues, just like every parent does. So he was having a meltdown over something, I'm not sure, but I was trying my best to ignore it and just move on and ignore his demands for chocolate or whatever it was. I'm heading over to the last window that I have to clean downstairs and my little Dollar Tree cleaning item was so dingy by the time I got over here to this little corner. I could not believe how like brown it was turning. It was normally white but it was definitely not white anymore. And then ever since the coronavirus outbreak, I wanted to make sure that I'm using something that kills bacteria and viruses. So I popped out my Clorox bleach and just started wiping down a bunch of the rails. We actually did this this week already, otherwise I would have done all of the door handles and stuff, but my kids had the flu this week twice and so we went through and wiped everything down with Lysol wipes but I didn't do those rails so I wanted to make sure and get those done. so crazy because I didn't even realize how bad these vents were but once I was up there and wiping things down there is like dust build up all over the wall all over the vents it was so bad and like I said we rent from this place so I wanted to make sure and get out all of the dirt that I could but um, I don't think that I have ever ever since we've rented this place cleaned these vents so they were definitely past due for a cleaning. One of my favorite things to do when I'm spring cleaning is just to wipe down all the doors, including the door frames. And so it gets off all the dust from the door ledge and then all of like the little crevices inside the door. 
I wanted to make sure and get those all wiped because if I don't do it, it just builds up over time and it just looks so nasty. So I'm telling you, it looked like my downstairs had like a fresh paint job. Like after I had done all the cleaning, it looked like a fresh paint job. It was crazy. It's really interesting because before I started this day of deep cleaning and spring cleaning, I actually had filmed a previous video of deep cleaning my upstairs and I was so bummed because I had to reformat my memory card at some point um, in between when I filmed it and then when I went to go upload it and I realized that I deleted all of my footage so I actually double cleaned, not really, but I did two spring cleaning videos. This was my second one. The first one got deleted, but I was so frustrated when I realized it. Next up on my list is just to get our throw blankets and to take them upstairs and throw them in the washing machine. And let me just tell you, when I went to cuddle with that blanket today, I was so happy that I washed that thing. It makes such a big difference when it smells good, there's no spots on it, you know what I mean? And then next I am going through and cleaning out the electronics, which we don't have that many electronics, just kind of like a printer and then a DVD player. So I was going through and dusting this off. I had not dusted this for a long time. If you've noticed in my cleaning videos, I clean the outside of this little cupboard, but I don't very often clean the inside. So it definitely needed a good wipe down. Next up, I was cleaning our TV off, which I have to be honest, I have no idea how to clean a TV off the proper way. So I just used Windex because I figured it's kind of like a giant mirror or window, but I wasn't sure if this is what I was supposed to be doing. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite way is to clean your TV. Now I'm heading in and gonna be wiping down all of our light fixtures. I think I did this maybe about a half a year ago, but it's been a while for sure. So that's what I will be doing next. Like 
Like I said, I actually previously had filmed a video and in that video I had taken down these curtains so that I could wash them. So in this video I figured I would just put them back up after washing them so these were freshly washed. It makes such a difference to take your curtains down and do this during the spring cleaning season or any season to be honest. I think it's good just to get them down. Sometimes there's little like cobwebs or spiders. I've found spiders in our curtains before. Totally freaky but anyways so let me know down in the comments what some of your favorite items are to clean for spring cleaning or like your go-to must-have things to get clean during your spring cleaning now i'm going to grab my o cedar spin mop and i'm going to be using it to dust the blinds upstairs so that thing the little duster that i had downstairs from the dollar tree was so disgusting I was like I cannot use this at all anymore so I threw it in the trash and then I just grabbed one of these and I realized that this would be way easier for me since I was going to have to be reaching way down there because of the bed and also the cool thing about using one of these mops is I can just pull off the mop head and throw it into the washing machine Heads up, I actually was smelling my laundry because I realized I forgot that I had a load in there. So I did a rinse and spin one more time just to try and get some of the little stink, the, the musty smell out of it because I don't like that one that's in my clothes. So now I'm just gonna be heading into my room and you'll see that my bed is moving. My son was hanging out with me just as he has been for the majority of all of my cleaning videos. I started my channel when he was probably my youngest son's age, so maybe around one-ish. So I remember so many videos of Bentley getting into random things in the background of my cleaning videos and it was always so funny. Anyways, it's just nostalgic for me to remember those times. So today's been a really good day. Like I said before, my kids have had the flu all week. So it's been kind of a rough week, a little bit exhausting as a mom, just because when your kids are sick, it's usually a little bit more exhausting. Oh, I was dancing right there to Shania Twain. Just so you know, that's what was happening. Anyways, today has been really nice. I woke up at 5 a.m. Today was daylight savings time, so I definitely felt it when I woke up. I was exhausted, but I woke up and I did my 21 day fix workout which I've been doing now for 12 days in a row where I wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and I do a 30 to 40 minute workout every morning and I have been loving it so much I feel like it makes such a difference in my day even in just my mindset I feel like I've been way more productive and kind of just energetic and up and getting things done and kind of positive so if that's something that you've been wanting to do I'd say go ahead and do it I feel like our health and fitness is such an important part of our lives and it's so easy to neglect it when we have so much going on, especially when there's so much cleaning to do and all that stuff. But that's why this day I felt so accomplished because I was able to get my workout in and also get a bunch of cleaning done.
so now I'm just heading into our tiny bathroom and taking that O Cedar spin mop and wiping down the blinds again. Let me know in the comments if you have this O Cedar spin mop. I know it's kind of a popular mop to have on YouTube, but um, it is kind of bulky. It takes up a lot of space. I'll try and make sure and link it in the description box below because I really truly do love it. And it is the only bucket that I have right now. So I've been using it throughout this video and in my next spring cleaning video for the bucket for like cleaning off the cupboards and all kinds of stuff so anyways it has a double purpose So right now I'm going to be taking some Febreze, which is in the, I think it's fresh linen scent. And I'm just going to be spraying down the top of the mattress pad. In my next spring cleaning video, I will be deep cleaning the actual mattress. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe with the bell notification turned on because I have already been filming since this filming and I have been doing a ton of other cleaning for spring and you do not want to miss it. After that awesome karate move off the bed, I was going to go ahead and vacuum the bottom part of the bed. And I really actually enjoyed vacuuming the bed, which is so random because hello, it's vacuuming a bed, but I just felt like it needed it. And I have never done that before since buying this bed. So it was just really nice to kind of get it like fresh and clean again. So since I was up here, I just figured I would continue vacuuming in the room, which it had actually been quite some time since I vacuumed upstairs. So it was really nice to get it all fluffy and vacuum lines on fleek. So thanks so much for sticking around and watching the entire spring cleaning video. If you're still here, air hug and a big high five and all that kind of stuff to you because you deserve it for hanging out with me for this entire video, 25 minutes of cleaning. Let me know again in the bottom comments what you're gonna be cleaning today and what kind of spring cleaning you like to get done. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button followed by hitting the little bell for notifications and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.